Why does this always happen when you're late and on the way to a meeting? It's Tuesday, um, I've just arrived early at the Enfield, our Enfield Centre, um, it is about half four, I've got a one-to-one -one session, um, five till six, um, and then the normal development centre session, six till seven. Um, so today, what have I done today? Today I went into the office, um, had paperwork to go through from the trialist last night, accepting them into the programme. Um, and sending them all the information, different things like that. Um, definitely a couple of younger players with some, some good potential and particularly there's an under nine player who's come into the programme who I expect to probably sign at a club um, very quickly. Um, so looking to get a few things sorted out with that. Um, quick update, we had to change the date of our game against Barnet, just push it back a week um, just due to some staff. Um, and different things like that, just logistics. Um, so that game's still going ahead. Um, I'm going to be getting the invites out to some players probably tomorrow, actually. Um, and then we went over today to view a new venue, which is actually um, going to be our new elite venue, um, as well as possibly opening a centre there as well. Um, so that was really good. A really, really nice venue. Um, actually, a rugby, a rugby pitch, um, which has been laid down with Astro and being hired out for football sessions. They roll the goals on, and it is honestly a really, really nice venue. So looking forward to that. I think it could be a really good centre there, and also a good new home for our elite. Um, as well as that, today had a meeting with a club um, about becoming a partner club. Um, so potentially one of our first partner clubs. Um, as I've said in previous videos, that's something that we're really looking to develop this season is creating partner clubs for our centres um, to help the grassroots club and also help us build centres and give children the opportunity to be seen and hopefully progress and sign for clubs. So that was a really positive meeting, um, a few things to sort out, but think uh, it could be a really good step forward for us and uh, something that we're hoping to do at lots of different venues. So a really, really productive day, really good day. Uh, looking forward to the session tonight. The session topic again is defending. Uh, with my one-to-one -one session, I'm going to be doing a little bit of uh, decision-making um, and awareness work. So looking forward to that as well. Um, so yeah, we'll put a few little clips up of what I've been up to today and... A few little clips from the session and um, I hope once again you're enjoying this video um, and I will catch up with you again in this video at the end of uh, this session. So thanks guys.
guys. Uh, so just on the way home from the Enfield session, um, had a really had a good session today. Had a great session. Um, once one session beforehand, I'll put a few clips on it on this. But we were working on a little bit of first touch, um, a little bit of awareness, um, some combinations, just just little details really. Because um, I think in these one to one sessions, it's so important to work on small little details that are hard to work on in group sessions um, just really perfecting technique and and just simple things like for a player at that age making sure he checks his shoulder every single time he receives the ball um, and it's important in those one-to-one -one sessions that you can correct them and get them into good habits because it's so easy to get into bad habits and then as you get older um, become so much harder to, to kind of get them out of your game so that was a great session then went into the development center session we have quite a small group over in uh, uh, Enfield it's, it's quite a new center uh, and got, got really some really good exciting players um, definitely a couple of younger ones that have got good potential to possibly develop into players that might get signed when they're under nine um, and also definitely an under nine and an under 11 who are not far away from being academy football players um, so yeah it's a great session um, tonight working on some defending had to tweak the session slightly because of the numbers but that always happens that's natural something that you've got to be prepared to do um, in coaching you never there's never a perfect number there's always somebody away or an extra player turning up and you've got to be ready to adapt to that um, so that was good um, so yeah on the way home now probably catch up on a few emails because I was out of the office towards the end of today so it's good to catch up on a little bit just to make sure you don't fall behind um, and watch a little bit of the football. I think there's Carabao Cup action possibly tonight. Um, so yeah, and then tomorrow, uh, back in the office, I'm getting out tomorrow invitations to our elite centre for trials. Um, so the new season starting now, we've actually got a new venue um, and we've got a good good amount of players who we feel are ready to move from development center or county into our elite so this is a brilliant opportunity for them puts them right at the top of our program um ready to to push forward and hopefully hopefully make the next step which from our elite normally is to sign for a club we can't guarantee that for everyone but when it's ready and when it's the right time we hope that to happen um so that's the first job tomorrow um, what else? Tomorrow we have sessions in Berkhamsted, we have sessions in Greenford, uh, we have a session in Amersham and we have an after school club in Slough. So uh, Wednesday is quite a busy day for us. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed another, another day in the life or another day in this challenge just trying to move forward every time taking a big step today with a meet with the new venues and possible partner clubs to help us get new players into the program and uh, branch into a new area and again hope to get players in that area training working hard and uh, and signed at clubs so oh yeah also tomorrow we're going to get invites out for an under 10 fixture uh, against barnet where i'm hoping um could possibly bring the first signings of this challenge that's that's my biggest aim and my, i think hopefully gonna bring the could bring the challenge early uh, hopefully so yeah hope you're enjoying these videos um i'm enjoying making them and i will see you guys tomorrow